Alright, welcome back to another episode of Train the My Podcast. It's your host, Oscar Daddy, Direct Poppy, Jamison Poppy, aka Let Me See What's in the Pants, aka Just Playing Baby. I'm in a relationship. Uh, that's another another episode. Of course, as you can see, we're in a different location. Once again, 2022 is up and I'm not playing. Eyes are closed because I'm serious. Uh, but now we obviously have a special guest here. This guy's, uh, you know, first time on the show. Respect. Thank you for having me. Go ahead and introduce yourself, oh, man. Of course. Yeah, it's Mac from the Sign Over Coast podcast, a.k.a. Scarlet Bro Handsome, a.k.a. Malcolm B. Jordan, a.k.a. Demi. Let that sink in. Let that sink <laughs> in, bro. Yo, you guys, he dropped a lot of bo- a lot of gems. Oh, you guys, you guys start replay it, listen to what he said. A lot of gems are there. Um, but nah, man, I'm happy to be here recording another episode again. You know, shout out to the people who plugged us. Shout out to the people, you know, on set filming for us, too. As you can see, it's two different angles. Boom, boom. We're out here, gang, gang. Um, but yeah, no, we're supposed to, you know, we're. S- I didn't want to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. There's supposed to be somebody else on the episode. Two other people in the episode, actually. Um, well, you know, they couldn't make it. Unfortunately, it sucks. But it would have been a fun-ass episode. Uh, I was looking forward to it. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know, the show must go on. We can't cancel things. This is no. Listen, ROTM is a podcast. It's an entity, all right? I move as a unit. Like, there's a lot of things involved here. It's not just... Open laptop, you know, little, little mic, little talk. No, it's no, not that. It's, it's more serious. As you can see, the fucking production is up. Yes, sir. So, you know, it is what it is. But again, you know, we move. Yeah, we move. yeah of course. Um, all right, I, I've been talking a lot. Oh, also, shout out to the guest of last week, Snacks. Real one. Click the uh, motherfucking through, link in the bio. Gifted the boy with this. Oh, As you can see, so shout out to Kosher. Uh, this is, you know, it's a brand that he's responsible. Or not responsible for, sorry, an ambassador for. Uh, it's a friend of his. So, you know, shout out to that. It's, just, it's a sick beanie. I appreciate it. You know, he came on the show for the first time. He gifted the host. That's how it should be. So, all you oh, niggas that want to be on the pie, you know, you want to be on the podcast, oh, bring, on a, bring on a little, you know what I mean? <laughs> a little bottle, a little something, a little gift for the host, you know? So, uh, but now, honestly, like I said, you know, I'm just grateful to be here. We're recording. We have a lot to talk about. Absolutely. A whole lot. Um, all right, let's get into the news, right? Of course. Yeah. What you got? <sighs> first things first, fresh and fit, boys. Uh, fresh and fit. Drop the ball. <laughs> These guys, I wonder what I can introduce who the fuck they are. Not at all. I feel like if you're listening to this podcast, you probably already know who it is. No, so. absolutely. Yeah, no. Um, it's, it's, it, to me, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing because it's like, you want to get into a preference. All right, cool. It's a preference. <laughs> but your preference doesn't have to be like people always, there's no critical thinking. You no. know what I'm saying? Yeah. They talk about a preference, but they're going to talk about what they don't like. That's what I'm saying. Like, what's, my, what's, your, what's your preference? Not black. <laughs> like, wait, wait. What, what are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? We said what you like. Okay, what right. do you like? Right. Not that. Fam. Every single time, too. Man. And the thing is, it's like, um, I feel like we, we, we see. The fact that the fact that there's being like they're co-signing it and mm-hmm. bro, a little oh, too many ad libs, too many ad libs. Oh my god! Bro, talk about not dabbling in the dark, not down the ground. What? No, no dark. Uh, what is it? No dark nights. I mean, they what said is they're it? not night night right. Yeah, yeah. After, don't know. I'm never using the word night rider again. I can't. Yo, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I heard that was back in high school. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. back when we used to go to parties and be, oh yo yo fam yo shit talk to that girl. You know, she, she's a night rider. I'm like, nigga, you think that's going to make me want to go talk to her? Like, no, bro. I've never been the one that, oh, she likes black guys. I better go dance my nigger toes for her. Like, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Like, let me test the theory. Let me be. That's why I've never, none of that shit like, appealed to me. You know what I mean? So I, just hearing that is, is nasty. And the fact that these are grown men. Like you said, you know, the f- it's just, it's crazy because they didn't even answer the question one, like we said. Know. And the second part is, these are grown men. You guys are black as well. And right. it's That's, self-hate. I don't know, it's, man. It's weird to me, bro. And I, what's called called? The, the, I think at one point they're talking about... Um, they're talking about oh, my bad, yeah. bro. No, you're good. Yeah, no, at one point they're talking, like, they, they threw they threw the, uh, the the stereotypical name, Shaniqua. Oh, my How God. How have you met? I'm not going to... There are not Shaniquas one. out there. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. But... For what? Exactly. Like it's so, bro. Black men are doing this. Yeah, I, I that's mean, the thing. It's, it's just it just shows how much they hate each no. other. I mean, hate themselves. Sorry, you know. But it's, it's sad to see. But yeah, you know what can you do? You know what I'm saying? Like I I think at the end of the day, it sucks because every every time this happens, people go back to the fresh and fit videos mm-hmm. and, and and check out their content. And their content's not great <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, it, yeah it lives in its universe of its own you right, know the, course, the, the women bashing the mm-hmm. the you oh, know the manosphere the manosphere yeah yeah wow. dog listen <laughs> it's entertaining <laughs> so I, i'm yeah. not gonna like you know from board sometimes i'll watch it but now not anymore mm-hmm. now it's just corny like now they're just saying whatever to get clicks right and you can feel it and, and you can see it and you that's always like every time yeah 
And that's always when it gets corny, you know what I mean? That's when, that's when it's time to log off for me. But when they're still kind of bubbling up and it's like they have these girls on the panel and it's like they're, right. you know, it gets, it's entertainment. But mm-hmm. once it gets to this level, it's kind of, eh, I'm, I'm good on that. But they had Brittany Renner come on, mm. um, not their platform, but right. uh, Academics, academics yeah. podcast, <laughs> right? And they kind of, you know, had a, a bit of a sit down, a bit of a conversation to see and she pressed them. Press. I mean, she, oh, she, yeah, no, she put in the work. She pressed them, but again, they were able to have a conversation, which I actually appreciate. Yeah. You know, especially nowadays, it's tough because a lot of people say, you're just an idiot, bye. Right. And they run away. Whereas mm. they sat down and talked for maybe an hour and some change. Was it? Yeah, I watched the whole see? podcast. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, I saw the clip where he was uh, he was calling her emotional. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which, which she, I didn't, I didn't see much. She was just telling them what they did. Yeah. So she was saying, so <laughs> what, what, what makes you feel, like? Did it make you feel good calling these women? Right. You know, saying they're not special and stuff like that. Right. What makes you so special? Mm. And he's kind of, <laughs> I never said I was special. You know. Right. right. <laughs> so it was just you know. But it, no, bro. They say they're special on every episode. High value male. Yeah, they say that all the time. That's actually funny. I, yeah. just, I didn't catch that. You're right. You're absolutely right. They say that all the time, bro. bro fresh every time. I'm a high value man. He's got a little. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. As a happy man, <laughs> like <laughs> as a happy man. <laughs> I, listen, <laughs> the point is, you, you do this, right? right. You get, you get the woman, right? You bring them over, right? You, of course. you do this, of, of course, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a male. <laughs> Fit. I, I'm fresh. <laughs> <laughs> man, that guy's something else, dog. But no, nah, um, sure. it's it's uh, it's cringy. It but. is. It's, it's super cringe. But I was gonna bring something up too about that episode. Oh yeah, yeah. So basically, what they justify is saying, you know, once you get into um, a certain amount of money that you, you're, you're bringing back, monogamy is out the window, right. and women have to accept that. Mm. Like that's that's one of his his, his principles, his commandments. Right. And uh, <laughs> I mean, his commandments. <laughs> I don't know. I th- what do you think about that, bro? Um, about mono- like monogamy being out the window after you make a certain amount of money. Yeah. Uh, I think. I think to to be fair, to be fair, monogamy. If you're about it, you're about it. If you're not about it, you're not about it. Like mm-hmm. I, I think over here, you know, being in the West, like we, we do kind of condemn it. Like we say it doesn't make sense or <laughs> um, it's not possible. And to be to be fair, like I, I think culturally, you know, what I'm saying like bare people pull it off. Now, should you be should should people have to accept you not being monogamous because you're rich? Honest, honestly, I, I really do think like the relationship you have comes down to you and your, and your person. Yeah. If your person's about it, they're about. I think everyone should have the choice, and they do. Mm-hmm. So if you know what it is going in, yeah. And that's the hardest part, right? right. That's where people say, like, "Well, obviously, you know, as a man, I'm supposed to do this." But when they get into situations, yeah. they're not honest about that, and mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Again, are you going to stand on this principle, or are right. you not going to stand <laughs> on it? You can't stand on it. With your boys, and then when right. it comes to girl, you kind of hide it and say like, "Well," uh, until you get caught, and then it's like, "Oh, I'm gonna change, I swear," and you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Billy Ray did what? I don't <laughs> even know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, now we're going on fresh and fit though. Let's get into Jim Jones. So Jim Jones, a few weeks back, he talked about um, you know mm-hmm. growing up and being a teenager, and you know sometimes yeah. you interact with women and. You know, sometimes what happens is you kiss women, right? Obviously, you know, if, if that's what you're into, if, right. you know, whatever. Anyway, his mother wanted to prepare him for this, right? right? And so what she did is she put her Haitian hands on his face mm. and went, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in his mouth. So <laughs> Jim Jones said the way he learned how to kiss is by making out with his mom. Come right. on, Essentially. Mm. <sighs> What's your take? We could have done without this information, At brother. All. Yeah. And then the fact that he tried to cover it up and say, I was joking. Right. Fam. Nah, he was he was comfortable. He was, <laughs> <laughs> That's the word, dog. He was he was recollecting. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> he was going through all that shit. Nah, bro. that that was nostalgia. So yeah, uh-huh. I mean, t- I <laughs> I it's to me it's I I don't think he knew that it was uh that it, that it was, <laughs> that it was a, I really I don't think. Cause bro, he was a little too. Co- bro, yeah, I, I'm looking at the clip. We <laughs> laying back. Like, yeah, my mom used to kiss me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? And I appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate the co-host. They yeah. Tra- they tried. 
to yeah. not to escalate it. <laughs> yeah. Like, but you could see the mood shit. In Dog, the that happened. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. Nah. I felt the exact same way. I'm like, yo, bro. as a podcast, host, somebody says that you guys have to be like, okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> Word. Yeah, 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 yeah. On, on, on normal occasions, they would say expand on that. But that was <laughs> yeah, not. Was like, they were like, nah. Oh, and so I was like, oh, that's cute. Somebody even said, that's cute. I'm like, all right, now you're just lying, dog. And then the fa- I don't know, the, the cover up attempt is what killed me. He's like, mm. obviously, I was joking. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 you were. That's, that's, and that's then the his, internet, his mom came out and said, so what? It's my son. <laughs> and he was like, it wasn't nothing nasty. <laughs> I was just like, dog. This whole thing is a mess. No, 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 that's a mess. That's a mess. That's this, a mess. This whole family is fucking nuts, bro. <sighs> right, yeah, no, no, no. Don't kiss your siblings. Um, <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> don't kiss your family. Yeah. I, there's, there's too many... There's, what, what? A good eight people? Billion people in the world, you know approximately. I mean? yeah. Lots of people to practice with. Your <laughs> mouth doesn't have to be. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Keep your tongue in your mouth, bro. <laughs> like. <gonna> <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> You gonna learn it is fucking hilarious, nah, bro. That's, uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, but, oh man. You know, where do you, where do you go? But I, I, I mean, I hope he's okay. Yeah, the, yeah. I, I mean, I hope so too. I mean, listen, the news kind of brushed it off. You know yeah, what I mean? Like that was last. They, they didn't, yeah, didn't, but uh, I, I had a good laugh though. Yeah, for sure. That whole sh- bro, that's fucking nuts. But I mean, still in family, you know, ex- exposing more information than they should. Of we have Jada Pinkett Smith, mm. who uh, hasn't been in the news cycle since her entanglement. Uh, she's back in the news saying, well, my grandma taught me how to masturbate when I was nine. Okay. I mean, the set is very fucking yeah. quiet. A lot of people are holding their heads. What do you guys have to say about this? Yo, Jada, man, you know her, bro. How's that attention? Okay. Um, I think she is black, to be honest. Mm-hmm. What the hell to say? Yeah. All right. What's your take? Okay, I think um, you know what I'm. I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know. Like, did her gra- did did her grandma show? Like, <laughs> what what was you know what I mean? Like, is it? I I I'm not gonna dig into the details, but <laughs> should dig into the details. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think um, I don't know. I think I think sexual education should start in the house. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't always have to be a unit in in, in physical <laughs> education or a gym yeah. class. Oh, he's saying, um, why is he the word unit though? He's not conceding. You're right. You're right. You're like, you boy, <laughs> <laughs> you girl. <laughs> yeah. They show, you, do you remember uh, La Vie? The, no. the 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 cartoons that like relayed. Or oh, is that what it was called? I remember yeah, watching a cartoon in bro, grade six that it, basically showed us like sex ed. Yeah. 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 Not not <clears throat> a good reference. Uh, didn't get into anything, but yeah, bro. If if your grandma taught you how to masturbate, I I hope she didn't like physically show you. I yeah, maybe some tips. I don't know. I mean, but yeah, you're right. But yeah, even then, I, it's kind of weird though. It is still you weird. know, but I mean, I think maybe it's the right thing to do because again, a lot of people just never discover it. Right. And then always just depend on other people to pleasure themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's where you get yourself find yourself in a situation where you're just. Not whoring yourself out, but right. essentially whoring yourself out mm. just to try to get joy. Where it's like you can bring that to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like they don't always have to come with another body. But you, of course, no. But I, as long as it's like, as long as it's not abuse. Yeah. I, I think if if your grandma taught you how to beat your meat, like that's just it is. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. Bro. It is. What it is. Um. Now nah, I think we're done on that. Let's get into chromas and mm. academics. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So they had beef. They had a quick yeah. little a little beef but i mean it was interesting you know once, yeah. you, once you actually learn the details when, of oh it, it, it runs deep yeah it, it actually really does <laughs> run deep this is a two-year thing yeah because <laughs> i was because you know i watch academic streams you know yeah. religiously almost he's streaming yeah. right now actually of course i should be watching no nah, yeah. no nah, yeah he's he's very consistent. he's on right now yeah but anyway so you know their beef was according to academics he met uh chromas um you know in person she was pregnant mm. The baby was well, the baby was uh, Draco the Rulers. She was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna go get an abortion because you know I'm not gonna keep it, obviously, and blah blah." blah and I can't go hang out with you the next day because I'm gonna be in pain. <coughs> That's academic story. She right. came out and said, "What? Huh? 
No, he, no, I'm saying that's academic story. I'm not saying that's factual. I'm just saying mm-hmm. both the stories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know anything about anything. Chrome eyes, if you want to, you know what I mean, say what really happened, come on. Come yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, say please. what happened. Let us know. <laughs> Let us know. But <laughs> nah, like, then that was his side of the story. And then she came out and said, well, you're obviously a fucking liar. That's yeah. not what happened. Why would you say this right now? You never even posted his music. Yeah. And so, yeah, that's, that's what the situation was. Academics then came back and said, I'm not a liar. Don't call me a liar. And that's his trigger word, yeah. right? Oh, so every time. He exposed the truth. And you know, started saying, well, no, when I met you, you, ta- you started this whole uh, romantic relationship mm. trope that you started. And I wasn't really with it. But I went with it because I'm like, sure, whatever, fuck it. And then now you're saying that I'm claiming I fucked you. And it was a whole, like, honestly, it's a saga. Mm-hmm. But no, it, it, <coughs> it, it broke down into, into a couple seasons. But yeah. Yeah, we're now at the season finale, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna ask, like, how did it even end? <laughs> I think it's ongoing. But <laughs> find out next week. <laughs> um, no, but me. yeah, no, I, I, I think after after digging into everything, mm-hmm. listen, bro, I don't like DJ Academics at all. Damn. But he, he, I, I understand his side of this. Yeah. To be honest, bro, he he already has animosity with Chromash. She going on. On on uh, no jumper. Yeah, <laughs> getting none of the waste you. Now you have to go look it up on on Urban Dictionary just because he's it's not really. <laughs> no, nah, nah, really he's Jamaican, bro. Oh, and that's, that's week he got offended by oh, that too because wow. she said suck your mom and he got to suck my mom, bro. <laughs> so he went yeah he went crazy too yeah. Yeah, but um um I think he like he was talking about how like he was trying to sign her. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like even that sort of oh yeah that's true you're right I completely too. forgot yeah, yeah, yeah. about that angle too he was saying you could have went to go suck a cock yeah like if you if you you're gonna do this the whole time just go suck a cock don't fucking play around with the music shit which was whack she didn't even she didn't even, yeah she just she, she got titty fucked right yeah and got nutted on she had pasties yeah it was very strange I don't know yeah I I didn't I didn't understand her I, uh, I heard you got paid three k I don't know if that's real or not that's, uh, that's I cap? really hope it was more than three k but yeah I know I think. Like, she got, oh, she got paid. <laughs> wait, wait, she got paid a million dollars to get another round with no nipple showing. Yeah, nah, it's something like that. That's crazy. For one scene, she got paid M's. I'm not mad at that. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. weekly installments. <laughs> I don't. Know, I, I want to know. How, I want to know the numbers. I want to know how much she got paid yeah, for yeah, this. Yeah, for sure. And uh, I want to see the bank figures. Not, not like a. Not like on a spam account on, on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, exactly. I want <laughs> not to like see a hack. T- <laughs> I want to see the numbers. 300 into a 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's an epidemic. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, I, I think based on based on academics just recounting of the mm-hmm. stories, and he's coming out with a lot more facts. Like, Chromas is, is just kind of insulting him on live. Yeah. And so um, psh, I'm, I'm, I'm with academic, academics on this one. And I never thought I would say that. Yeah. But here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> I'm uh, I'm on the side of the truth, and Ooh, I think that Chroma should come on yeah. the podcast and tell Absolutely. us the truth. Please, there's we space. have to know what happened here. We Toronto's, you to know, know. What I mean, reputation is on the line here. Absolutely, no, Toronto's first lady is we're being limbo. played with like this. This is it's unacceptable. Yeah, no. How, where do we go from here? I know. Seriously. I mean, yeah, next episode she's gonna be on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I think we're, gonna have we're, we're good with that. Let's get into Euphoria. Mm. It's back. Did you watch it? Did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of dicks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nah, it definitely is. This season is Here's a lot. Here's the plot. <laughs> Dick. Here's the dicks. <laughs> Notice how they don't understand. No, no, you're right. You're actually you're right. Yeah, because they're doing it on purpose too. Because last season mm, apparently there was yeah too much objection, uh, and objectification I, 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 of I women. Did, I deep that. Yeah. That's crazy. Is that men? Yeah. 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 They That's, they they didn't want to they didn't want to stop. Yeah. There's <laughs> there, there's literally so many. You know what it is. You know, you know when someone tells you exactly what they want, mm-hmm. and so you just completely misinterpret. They said show less tits, and they were like more dicks. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, literally that. Yeah, exactly. It's like ah, equal, same thing. <laughs> but yeah, what are you it, complaining about? So many pointless scenes. Like, okay, yeah. why? Why is this? Why is this dick out, bro? Yeah, I don't understand, I've bro. never seen another man on the toilet. They're doing what? it. You think no, so? I think I think that nah, show, show still show came harder, yeah. P- pun intended. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but no, I, there's a lot of pointless scenes, like yeah. you know, with dicks out and stuff. But it just again, it just shows how ridiculous the nudity is. You know what yeah. I mean? Sometimes it's just not needed. So yeah, I guess seeing it as a man, like, oh, no, okay, I see. It. <laughs> exactly, and that's what I'm saying. That we're getting the message. I guess we can see like, oh, oh, yeah, that's really pointless. I don't I understand. See you on the exactly. Yeah. yeah so. Up. You're right. Listen, yeah. no, you're, you're an artist. Course. You're allowed to do whatever the fuck you want to do, bro. Yeah. 
Exactly, man with the vision. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> but no, I, I I like the show though. I like yeah, the show. Nah, off, like I think the energy of the show mm-hmm. definitely, definitely, definitely picking up where last season left off. Yeah. Um, I will say, I will say, why they have to be high schoolers? You think that's weird? Yeah. But they don't. None of them are like actually high school looking. You oh, know what I mean? Of course not. Except for are. maybe Maddie. Maddie sometimes mm, yeah, she looks like yeah. a high schooler, but yeah, even yeah. that she looks grown as well. It's weird. But the point is, I, I mean, I'm not weirded out by it because yeah. they're all adults and they all kind of look like adults. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be a different situation if it was like, um, what's that that show on Netflix, The Aliens, and those kids, uh, Stranger Things. Ooh. If it was something yeah. like that, where it's oh, actual yeah, kids yeah. and it's like mm-hmm. the sex stuff, I'd be like, mm-hmm. what is going what on watching, here? Yeah. You know. But yeah. now it really just feels like it's a show. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's nah, it's definitely. I mean, I think the contents of the show, absolutely, like, um, I, just the, the way they, they approach everything and mm-hmm. um, even just the way they're exploring, like, the, the other side of it, the drugs and, mm. and, and things of that nature. Yeah. But um, I just feel like, bro, it could it could have been, the plot could have been in college. I feel like it would have okay. been similar. Granted, I think it falls apart with uh, the, the one character, Jules, because mm-hmm. it's the, I think that this all starts because of statutory rape. With, uh, yeah. Okay. So yes. 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 I, I think in a way it had to be a high school. You're right. Yeah. And but also shows the dark side. Sorry to cut you off. The dark side of high school too, because some high schools are actually giving it up like that. Yeah. You know, in terms mm-hmm. of the drugs, the partying, the sex. Yeah. That's what's going on in high school, and it's shocking and surprising, but it's actually happening. I, was I in think a French secondary school. So. <laughs> yeah. No, we didn't. We didn't have that over. We, we, the school next to ours, maybe. I right, feel like right, I went right. to maybe one, two <laughs> parties. Yeah, and I feel like I left before the coke came out, so yeah, yeah, yeah. shit wasn't really popular yeah, like that. Yeah, but yeah, curfew, uh, yeah understandable. Just yeah. Yo, real niggas, no curfew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in school, bro, you're home at eleven, What's brother. What's the one o'clock thing? I don't know. What that one is. o'clock? No, not at all. I, I that's foreign to me. Okay, I think yeah, you yeah, made yeah. your curfew was one o'clock. I'm like, nah, bro. Nah, nah. I said, what's one o'clock? Oh yeah, no. What time? What was your curfew in high school? I would say twelve. Twelve. My parents were were picking me up at the party, driving me home. Your parents picked yeah, you up. Yeah. Nah. Oh, you're better, bro. You're you're in you the know lead. What though? I had to I had to fake I had to fake. Being sober, mm-hmm. which is impossible when you're drunk, <laughs> is, especially uh, when you're young and drunk. You, you, be, you be talking. I was I was using a French accent when I was talking. Like, <laughs> like, yo, stop, yeah, yeah. S- stop that. Like yo, Francois, <laughs> cool it, fam. What's going on? <laughs> they're like, stop talking, and we'll talk about this when we get home. But, oh, um, damn. Yeah. Nah, 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 they were they're, they're like my parents are pretty they're pretty chill, but yeah, yeah. I, I definitely just didn't didn't get openly drunk after that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, but I feel like, yeah, for me in high school, the curfew was 11, and I mm. wasn't getting picked up. Oh, I was, getting you're getting, no, 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 you're oh. getting, <laughs> you're getting your way there, you're getting your way back, <laughs> right. and you better be here for 11. Right, right, right. If not, there's going to be consequences, you can't come out ever, ever again, not yeah. ever again, sorry, for three months. Right, 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 right. It's, so it, it's it, like, it's, they say ever again, but it's three months. Yeah, and also, yeah, yeah, I yeah. live like deep Scarborough, and the most times it either be downtown or like North York, and it's like. So I have to leave the spot at like eight. Yeah. Oh right. You know. So it's like I, I leave the spot at like eight thirty. I get home. Like, how was the party? Fuck off. Yeah. yeah but we can't say that. You know. It's like, oh, it was fun. Yeah. Thanks for letting me go out. Like nigga, I was. Out. Hi. Bye. Walked out the house. Literally. Came back. In. Yeah. But no, nah, man. That, that was those are just dark times, bro. Nah, Fuck. for sure. No recovery. But I don't know if I um, I don't know if I'm actually upset at my parents at that because. What was I really yeah. missing? You no, know what I mean? I think, all. you know, just people are just being young, yeah. stupid, drunk, and mm-hmm. doing weird, awkward things they regret. Yeah, absolutely. You know? High school parties are rough. For yeah. sure. Everyone's everyone's just figuring out what alcohol does to them. Exactly. And then there's the whole, uh, listen, man, you can't drink this. It's too sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not a man drink. Listen, yeah, man, you it's can't not be. a man drink. Taste Can't be drinking Mike's hard, bro. What are you doing a Smirnoff, bro? Are you serious, bro? Are you drinking a Smirnoff? Bro, nobody iced you, bro. Bro, bro, just get down on your one knee, bro. Just dude, just do it. Seriously, bro. No, listen, bro. Uh, listen, if the drink's not bad, it's not for you, bro. <laughs> if it doesn't taste terrible, Dog. don't ingest it. That's such a like I feel like it's a crazy concept. If you yeah, it's a, it's such a real character too. Like back when we went to high school parties, it's always those guys like, mm-hmm. bro, bro, bro. <laughs> just one shot, bro. Just, just do, one dude, shot. Just do it. Just do it, bro. They're It'll so touchy fine. too, hitting, hitting your chest and shit, bro. Just come on, grab me and like, yo, bro, come on, bro. I, bro, I'm not even drunk. I, <laughs> dog, I'm not oh even drunk. Oh my god, bro. No. She was. <laughs> They're always drunk. The drunkest. <laughs> the drunk. But the, yeah, that person does not change though. They think yeah. about it. In clubs, you're gonna see that person too. Still. Bro, let me get you a shot, please. Dude, I love Wiz Khalifa. <laughs> 
Why are you telling me this? You know what I mean? Shit like that. Like, but again, it's you know, it's age and and going out of and shit. But it's not on the time. Yeah, but now we we went on a tangent. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Come on now. This podcast. Yeah, respect, respect. Exactly. <laughs> Top. Uh, but now back to you for you for you. Before it's sick. Um, the episodes are good. Mm-hmm. Opening season. I mean, the season opening was fire. Super duper fire. Set the tone. I like the fact that we did. Oh a, man. We got an origin yeah. story for Fez. Easily. I'm really really liking the Fez and and Lexi situation. Absolutely, bro. Those were the they like they weren't showing much of those characters last season. Yeah, just in and out. Mm-hmm. Now we're getting like a proper yeah, storyline, so yeah. I'm feeling that for sure. Dog, Fez is so like yeah, he's so innocent, but not innocent. Not know? at like, all, he's, bro. He's, he's he's so pure. He's if that he's, makes sense. It, it's 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 the perfect way to describe. He dog because like he's so genuine. The way he interacts, like he has nothing to hide. Like he interacts with women, like hey. What's yeah, up? Yeah, like, yeah. there's no hidden agenda. Nah, you know what I mean? On sleeve. I, I appreciate And that. you can see how yeah. much the women are appreciating that, too, on social media. Like, oh, my God, I want to marry Fez. <laughs> oh. <And> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It's, it's crazy. But did you, did you hear about the... <laughs> <Okay. I was> <laughs> gonna... <laughs> all right then yeah. um all right let's get into uh the let's get into music then okay. so kanye west in the game put out a song mm-hmm. easy uh fire yeah. first of all fire that's yeah, like really good the beat is fire i think uh hit boys back you know hit in, boys in the studio hs nice i don't know sorry i mean hit boy and kanye are yeah. back oh, in the studio because you know they had that ongoing feud for a while right. really yeah yeah, yeah. since word. niggas in paris like after yeah. that yeah kanye's kind of yo don't work with him so we try to blackball him, and yeah, he's, he's, here he is. So nah, Kanye be feuding, bro. Kanye is a very petty guy, bro, and oh. he does it for no reason. I don't. I nah, mean, I don't know. Nah, and we'll we'll get into it. But yeah, yeah. Go, what, what, what were you, so you? Yeah, no, I I enjoyed the song just as much. Yeah, I, I think um, I I always enjoy a good Kanye verse. Mm-hmm. A lot of a lot of subbing, a lot of uh, <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot. Everyone caught strays, man. <laughs> Everyone comes I wouldn't even say strays. Like I think. Oh, direct. I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think sh- poor Chloe though. Yeah. Chloe got it for, for no reason. You know, he's talking about like <laughs> this, we're having the best divorce ever. Yeah. Uh, basically, let's go to court together. <laughs> Scratch that. Bring your sister. We can all go to court together. It's like Chloe's at the house. Oh, like yeah, nigga. Yeah. For what? I didn't ask for this. <laughs> That's why I didn't give you the address. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but nah, the verse was fire. I liked it, except for that that Pete Davidson line. I feel like you could have. Wrapped it up in a more clever way, maybe, but basically saying God save me from this crash, yeah. so I can beat Pete Davidson's ass. Nah, Kanye. It's 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 very it's huh? very. Simp. How is that simp against his wife? No, but why are you caring about the dude that she's with? If you had four kids, yeah, with she someone. Made a decision, though. She huh? Did. She made a decision. Yeah. Okay, but you're not gonna try to fight for your family. Oh, you're not a real one, bro. Yeah. You're not a real one, bro. For, we have four kids with her? He's not. Pete, like, yo, Pete is not the player. Nah, that's not Pete, fam. <laughs> Pete NPC. <laughs> yeah, Pete NPC for real, bro. What the fuck? Nah, 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 nah. nah. You're, he's, you're 100% getting a beat down. Yeah. Nah. Um, yo, I, it's a family. It's not just uh, yeah. an individual. It's not just Kim or she's my ex. But no, no, no. It's the mother of my four kids. Right. Which you thought you should have thought about that when he was when he was doing all that. Yeah, you're right. You're that's right. that's and you know what, man, the the Pete Davidson this like that is what it is. But mm-hmm. honestly, everything that's everything that happened to Kanye, yeah, it's what he deserves. I'm sorry. I love Kanye. I love the I love the bars. I love yeah. everything he's about. But he. He be going after everybody. The Big Sean thing. The Big Sean thing doesn't make sense. So undeserved. I don't, yeah, it didn't make any sense. It made, you owe him money. Yeah. That's the crazy part. That's the craziest part, to be honest. Bro, the Matt Barnes this on on thirty hours unprovoked. Yeah. Unprovoked. That's unprovoked. true. Unprovoked. Thirty hours like Matt Barnes yeah. just to whoop it. Understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would not drive thirty hours to fight anybody. But he had bars there that song. I love that song. <laughs> yeah. Like whip, whip him after school just to show him I got class. Oh. <laughs> skirt, skirt, skirt like a private <laughs> school for women. <laughs> It, just, no, it brought joy to my heart. No, it just brought joy to my heart. I'm like, ah, oh, look at Kanye. Bro, the, the the violent crimes. Violent crimes is, is yeah. a song for North, right? Yeah. Why are you dissing your wife? I mean, not really. How are you saying, uh, I he hope said, that your body looks like mine, like your, like your mom's? He said, yeah, drape, drape more like mine and not like your mommy's. That's your that's your wife. But she bought her his body, so it's not. They have, it came and but Kanye have the draped. same body. He said, he said he, 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 I don't want you to dress like your mom. Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? You okay, know what I'm saying? Damn. So, listen. Kanye, I, great guy. Yeah. Very tumultuous. 
No, he's yeah, very complicated guy. <laughs> very complicated guy. Bro, we're saying all that to say that the verse is good. The verse, uh, slap. the verse, slap. <laughs> the verse is good. The verse slap. <laughs> yeah, the song is good too. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna listen to the 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 game project, but I enjoy this song. Yes, absolutely. Um, yeah, no. So let's get into music again. Did what he had uh, to do. What's up? Did he did what he had to do? Exactly. Yeah. What he had to do? Yeah. Um, the weekend. Mm. The weekend dropped. <laughs> uh, what's Don it? FM. Don FM. Mm-hmm. Don FM. Yo, you know what it felt like? What? <laughs> it felt like I was at Zara. Come on, <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Or at H and I'll do that, man. I'll do He's trying to get his he trying to get that retail endorsement. I think, bro, it was it, I don't know if he's the one that said this is an eighties project or eighties mm-hmm. theme project. I feel like yeah. that that trope kind of just came out, but because yeah. it, it honestly only there's a few tracks that only sound eighties. The yeah. rest of it just sounds like the weekend kind of being the weekend in this whole mm-hmm. superstar dance time. It was a radio pocket. thing, exactly right. So that's what it Took felt it too like. Seriously, um, I feel like if this were an EP, mm-hmm. we would appreciate it way more. Of course, you know what we say. Oh, this is actually a very fire EP. Yeah, yeah, there's some tracks on it. Versus saying this is an album because you have so much other, so many other albums to compare it to. And you're kind of right. like, I feel like this kind of falls short, but. Um, I I appreciate it. You know, from the first listen, I was not disappointed. Mm-hmm. I was like, "This is cool. I like this pocket. Yeah. I like this weird old man character." He Absolutely, has. yeah. I like um, the the Quincy interlude was yes. was solid yes, for yes, sure. Yes. And the song yeah. after that too. Yeah, yeah, no, no, out of time. I, I, he came, he came correct. Yeah, he, came no, he, correct. he really did his thing, bro. There's a lot, of, there's a lot of good tracks on there. People re-listen to it. Don't just listen to it once and say, ah, that is disappointing, or just follow people's tropes online. Yeah, listen to it and make your own opinion. But I actually mm-hmm. really enjoyed it. Bro, I, I, I'm not like I won't hold you. I thought I was at the Gap the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, this bad. is a Zara playlist. That bad? Bro, it's not bad. Yeah. The thing is, I enjoy my time at Zara. You know what I'm saying? But when, <laughs> when, when they said like, you know what I mean? Like he's 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 in his explorative phase. Yeah. You know what I mean? I felt like I was exploring the clearance rack. You know what I'm saying? Don't like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's funny. But yeah, no, understandable. I, I yeah. it's 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 a it's a good album. Yeah, it is. And yeah, I feel like Koti also mentions this a lot too. You know, we talk about this. H and M and Zara music to us is Magic Jordan. Like Magic Jordan oh, for Majid? us. Oh, or Majid, yeah. yeah. They're like mm. H&M. Music, but but the, that was more their yeah. earlier work. I feel right, like, you know, right. once they got into mm. the, the blue facing album, it's, yeah. it's more like, okay, Jeez. this is hard. You know? And I like the last one, too, that they put out. No, not, not the last one. The one before yeah. that one um, with the green face. I forgot what it's called. Maybe. It's like uh, brackets. and well, I will put the image yeah, yeah. on the screen, but I forgot mm-hmm. the name. But that one is actually fire. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, nah, respect. Yeah. That's... Uh, uh, I want to get into Gunna. Gunna or Weekend? No, we're just, let's get into Gunna. We're done with the weekend. We said what we said. We're gonna compare them after, but let's get into Gunna first. Would Would we be pushing P if we if we got into Gunna? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga here, man. I'm sick of everyone pushing P. You guys are not P, bro. Keep it player. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I liked it. I liked, I, liked I, it. I, I I was listening to his car. Mm-hmm. It's it's definitely a car album, mm-hmm. but um, I think. Definitely a lot of like forgettable tracks. Yeah, for sure. I think there's maybe like s- five to six tracks yeah. that I go to revisit. Like easily, easily. Uh, you know, too easy is one of them. Yeah. That song with Twenty One Savage. Mm-hmm. Thought it was a game or whatever. That's super yeah. incredible. Mm-hmm. Track two is crazy too. Um, whatever G Herbo was on personally. For really, me. you like yeah. that? Yeah, but that's just because I like G Herbo. He oh, okay. Just, he, so you, you like people that don't rap on beat? Yeah. No, that's what it is. I he just does. Okay. <laughs> Why does he is do it that? A 16 or <laughs> it's a 17. Exactly. It's a 17. It's a 17 for real, man. Every time the guy gets on. Nah. <laughs> Fam, they slowed. What the fuck? Bro, I, was, I, 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 I stay like I revisit pull up religiously and. Man. The I fact that, that is. Um, it's it's the one. Is I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's the one where he's on stage at Lola Palooza. Yeah. And he's singing to Ari. Okay. And like it's like it's not on beat at all. Oh. And man. she's she's blushing at one point. And I'm like, I, I think to me just that visual uh-huh. on its like all together is just like that's enough for me to to go revisit the track <laughs> just to live that again. <laughs> but yeah, nah. Man. Shout out G Herbo. Yeah, but the pro- yeah, like you said, yeah. I feel like you said it perfectly. You know, yeah. the project had some forgettable tracks for sure. It wasn't a super crazy uh, uh, project for me, but yeah. again, you know, I think it's not one of my favorite kind of projects, but it's one that I actually listened in totality and revisited. Yeah, you know, like uh, Drip Season was a three. I don't think. I spent too much time playing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, same for the other ones, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, no, it's. Um, I, 
I'm just not not super into Gunna. Yeah, yeah, no, but yeah, this one is but cool. He has, so. Yeah, he has tracks. Yeah, so that's all we have. Uh, let's compare the two now, since people want to always okay. do that, which yeah. makes no fucking sense. They have two very all. different albums. Not even in the same uh, Not even this. <laughs> huh? Okay. Really? Yeah, Gunna, Gunna won number one. Again, you know, do you think that means the strange. project was better? No, I'm just saying he had number one. Okay, yeah, yeah, he did, yeah, he did. He, yeah, it's crazy, right? Really? Yeah, for the first week sales, yeah. Oh, okay. But then they both re-released their albums because yeah, yeah, Gunna yeah, yeah. put out the Drake feature and then The Weeknd put out an extra song and The Weeknd beat him. Oh, that makes sense. Cause I was so that's crazy. Gunna lost don't. with Drake. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you're saying the streams? <laughs> no, I was saying like the streams, the streams uh, right now, The Weeknd looks like he has more streams, but yeah. it, it might be because of the re-releases. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in in terms it. of streams, he's, The Weeknd's yeah, not playing. Not at all. Yeah. Listen, bro, only one that went to the... the Let's call the Super Bowl. So yeah, exactly. Where do we go from there? The gunner, gunner didn't go to the Super Bowl. Not so. at all. Come on now. Uh, you know, I mean, once he gets there, we can start <laughs> talking about comparisons. It's a little comparison. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but till then, you know, stay in your little pocket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, sure. let's do. Uh, let's let's skip Corday because I don't care. Mm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Corday is bird eye, bird's eye view. Um, listen, Corday, I feel like is gonna be one of those guys that's gonna be around for a long time. For sure. Shout out to him. I think he's like Baby Cole. Yeah, he'll be uh, around for sure. I, I think that you know. Again, I just don't have the will to go listen to it. The know. lisp, it's the lisp, I man. Can't it's get just. Over the lisp. <laughs> listen, I just I like that yeah, he's happy. Our Fifi Dobson, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not a man. speech impediment. Yeah, but yeah, nah, I um, I think uh, I I I think he has bars, right? Mm -hmm. No, one hundred percent, yeah, undeniable. undeniable, undeniable, can't question it. Yeah. Do I want to listen to it? That's what I'm saying. Do I want to frequent those bars? You know yeah, what I mean? It sucks, all of a sudden, though. I'm on rage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It sucks though, cause like he has. All, it's like the person that has all the drip, and it's like, yeah, yeah. I just don't care for you, man. Not at all. <laughs> it's like, damn. Like, what yeah. I'm doing everything right. You yeah. are, but yeah, but you are not you. It's not you. It's <laughs> like, she's, <laughs> just yeah, something. Just I don't know. Yeah, but he's happy. He's doing everything right. You know, no, putting absolutely. out the bars. He'll be he'll be around for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. So shout out to him. Uh, let's let's quickly move past him. Uh, <laughs> let's get into Shantia. Shantia, she she put out a record with Meg Thee Stallion called Lick. She featured, I mean, she teased this, you mm -hmm. know, on socials for quite some time. Right. Um, I, I liked, you know, the, the snippet. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah. Shantia in her bag talking about, yeah. you know, kind of lingus. Of course. I'm here for it. Listen. She's also responding to everyone's comments saying, like, oh, somebody's oh. like, yo, oh, what is like, a Lick pussy song? <laughs> I'm like, I like this energy. <laughs> I like yeah, this energy. Nah, come. Song comes out. The most disappointing song ever. It was. It was fucking. It sucked. It wasn't. It wasn't. Put your back in it. <laughs> Put your like, yo. What is going on? I don't understand. Like, yeah. it was not good. Not it even close to being good. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you like it? The music nah. video or you like the idea of the song? Yeah. No, nah, the music. Oh, respect. The you like the song? Yeah, the song. I like the whole thing. Bro. Saying you're putting your back in it. <laughs> 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 The artistry. Yeah. Nah, listen, it's a lot Shinsia, of work. Shinsia can actually rap and can sing quite well as mm -hmm. well. Why isn't she showing? I don't like this. Yeah. It's like the, the the smart girl playing dumb mm. at school. You know what I mean? It's oh, like, don't do that. Not a little sub. No, no, you know what I mean? It's like, don't do <laughs> that. Not you subbing the Oh, shit. Ah, oh, is that a sub? Is that a, oh, man, that's crazy. No, no, no. We'll come back to this. Yeah, yeah. But, no, uh, yeah, it, it just, you know. She what? She what? Exactly, yeah. she nice. can because it reminded me of Meg as well. Because you know, Meg can actually rap when Meg. she does freestyles on radio stations, it's crazy, course, yeah. But it doesn't show up in the songs mm. or the music she puts out, which is frustrating, yeah. Same for what Shinsia is doing right now. How many freestyles did you see of hers last year, right? That were crazy, right? Mm -hmm. Where is that in the actual music? Nowhere to be seen. Like, right. I don't, I don't like that. I'm like, oh, you're just following the, the, the Meg recipe or the Meg, you know what I mean, formula, right? And, and, Again, if it works for you, it works for you, but... No, for sure. I, I think, um, again, like, if, if people are responding to it, mm -hmm. then, you know, I won't... Again, I won't question much like Corday, yeah. but, you know, it's... I guess this one's just not for me. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to definitely rewatch music video. Absolutely. Yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta watch yeah, it the first nah, time I was supposed absolutely. to, and then I didn't watch it, but... <laughs> Astounding. Uh, it's crazy? It's, it's, it's a lot. It's, <laughs> it's proper visuals. They're, they're, they're doing what they got to do, and... Uh, 
you know, if that's what Kanye looks, looks like, then, nah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what Kanye nah, bro. It, it definitely, it definitely. You know those, you know those TikToks where they start doing this, and then there's another. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were yeah. moving like that, but it was with coochie. So oh, I, okay, that's yeah, crazy. nah, oh, was, yeah, I did see like mm, she was like leg spread and a mouth. Yeah, oh okay, okay, my okay. days. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, that's nah, a mad thing. Yeah, <laughs> but now nah, watch the video when I get home. Yeah. Um, that's that's those are honestly my feelings on that. Yeah. Let's uh, we're good at music. Let's get into discussion questions. Okay. Um, you know, again, you can send these in, uh, Instagram DM or either via Gmail. Uh, again, the email address is rotmpodcast at gmail dot com. I might put that here. I might not. Depends on how Ooh. I feel when I'm editing. Pay me, nigga. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. So the the question is: Is a man only as faithful as his options? Okay. So, I mean, you know, you want to I I'm a newly induced member of the Faithful Black Men Association. <laughs> Damn. And so <laughs> just what, it's, is, it's what it's even a, is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. man. Um I don't think so. I don't I don't think I think it's really just about discipline. It really is. Um I think it's yeah, it's just about discipline. You can, you can make the choice of like of not course. doing that. Right? Absolutely. You know, I think it's obviously when you're single, you don't have no obligations to anyone. Yeah, so yeah. you can eat off any platter, and that's you're fine, single. right? <laughs> but if you're in a relationship, eh, Choice is it, yours. it gets a little tricky. Where it's like, niggas, ah, like, uh, you're not cheating because you get no bitches, right? Or it's like, I, I'm cheating because I get bitches. And right. It's like, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? You cheat because you cheated on your spouse. That's <laughs> you cheated because you want to cheat. <laughs> like, everyone wants to fuck other people. You're cheating because you are know faithful. That's, that's normal. Like, you're not special because you want to fuck other people, that's, right? You know what I mean? But it's um. Oh, hold on, hold on, we're getting uh, I'm just saying that because they always cheat on the good bitches. You know what I mean? I think everyone gets cheated on. It's always like that. It's like these guys always cheat on the girls that are actually there for them. Mm-hmm. For a girl that doesn't really care. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you at a certain height. Or I think she gets cheated on too. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the women in the hypothetical scenario. Yeah. You think, yeah, yeah. I think, it, it, yeah, I think, I think it doesn't anybody matter. Can get it. Anyone can get yeah. Anyone can get cheated on. It's, uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, right. yeah, I can see that. Yeah, not for sure. Yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no, there's no good reason to cheat. No, but um, your life is depending on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? For real, bro. Nah, what's up? What's what's? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. No, skip question. No, no question. No questions. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, no. Tristan Thompson. Exactly. <laughs> but, um, nah, Tristan Thompson definitely got a, a, a cheating disease. He has 100%. to be. No, nah, oh, 100%. It has to be. His child is going to be a think, cheater. It's I in think his blood at this for point. Sure. He can't for stop. Sure. He's, he's, he can't he, stop. He's got single cells. <laughs> yeah, like, he, this guy just, he just can't stop, man. It's bad. Like, it's not. Bro, like, for what? For what? For what? Why, why come back on the show? Why come back? Bro. The, the the Jordan Wood scenario, like I know we glossed over it, but yeah. that's crazy. Oh, it's kind of wild. That's so. like when I found out the details when she went on red table and she put it all on the table. Yeah. Like, yeah. for what? That's for, what I'm saying. What are you saying? But yeah, no, nah, I think um, the options always there. Yeah. Uh, well. I mean, it, yeah, it, it depends. I feel, okay. Of course. Once but, you get into nitty gritty of things, yeah. of like, yeah, the options are always there. You can yeah. you can find you someone. Can, there is someone out there. Right? You just you know, yeah, you can yeah. put in work. Of you course. Know? Just, people have to put in different <laughs> levels of work. That's right. All right. That's varies. all. Yeah, you know. But I think there's anyone has an option. Everyone, yeah. So I, yeah, I, I would disagree. I don't think the you're 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 only as faithful as your options. Okay. So. London. Um, yeah, like you said, discipline, you know what I mean? But at the same time, like, you have a lot of options, bro. Like, <laughs> how tough is that discipline, bro? Yeah. Does your discipline depend on what the options are or it depend on how you are? Like, how, like if you have a lot of, lot of options, yeah. Come on, man. Each choice can be kind of hard, bro. But then why so is there a relationship? Exactly, that. Yeah. Then you have no discipline, to be honest, then. I mean, you try, bro. You try, and then, you know? Then you have no yeah. discipline. That's what it is. If, if you're disciplined, you'll be fine. You but be you're allowed to break up. You can't up. be 100% disciplined. Of course not. You, you have your ups and downs for sure, but until you have one person you really love, someone can still do the cracks, man. No. Yeah. Eh, I don't think so. I think, like... Alright, bro. That's the thing. You have enough options, bro. No. First of all, first, you, you want to do this? You want to do this? Single Duke versus single E-Man? 
It's not even close. It's not even close. It's not even close. Don't bring the monster out. Like, yo, niggas try to play with me. You know, we, we get in a relationship, niggas. Like, oh, he, he, oh, he, yeah, he's a relationship guy. He's a, he's a relationship guy. He wasn't doing anything when he was sick. Stop playing, bro. Oh, wow. But nah, understandable. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I think you know. Like we said, you know, the choice is you make the choice Always. whether you want to cheat or not. There's no kind of spirit that possesses yeah. <laughs> you and gets into your pants. Like, oh, I just, you know what I mean? Just yeah. one thing led to another. I fucking hate that phrase. Nah, nah. I one hate that led phrase. To so another is, stop capping. <laughs> <laughs> one We're thing, there. Exactly. That's where it started. One thing led to another. That's basically she took her panties off. Nah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's what one thing led to another means, bro. Because. <laughs> you showed up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's insane, man. Nah, the crazy. The craziest is when, when it's one thing led to another, but she lives 100 kilometers away. Ooh, what are you talking about? One thing you led went to... On three sets of highways. Dog. The 400s. You were in traffic. Bro. <laughs> dog, speaking of one thing led to another, this, it leads up to our next question. Okay. All right. This is another listener question. Sure, this you know, to the second question? Yeah. This, this was sent to, uh, you know, via, via DM. This person said, um, so at what point does cheating turn from a mistake to a commitment? Like you're committed to cheating? As in, like, the act of cheating. As in, like, what what, what step does it turn into, you know what I mean? This is you're committed to this act versus oh, okay. this is a mistake. Mm. Mm, you think so when you're trying to hide it. I think, I think, before that, I think it's step two. I think it's whatever comes after the step one. You know, because step one is either it can be anything. It can be like you're getting a message or you're getting a number or you're getting whatever invited to somewhere. Step two is how you act. In response to yeah. step one, you know what I mean. So, nah, for sure. Yeah, that's, that's that's my answer on that. But I think absolutely, bro. The moment, the moment, the moment you had, like, I think, yeah, the moment you have the choice. Mm -hmm. The moment the you have the choice on where you're gonna take this, whether it's or you know, it it could be as as easy as like a dance at the club. I know some people are okay with that and some yeah, yeah. aren't but bro you make eye contact that's like you said that's step one <laughs> now <laughs> now you're behind her <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's funny yeah nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no nah, but it's, it's it really is that easy and yeah. um yeah now nah, you, you committed into it yeah it's no it's not a mistake anymore exactly london let me ask you something do you think you'd let your girl go out and dance with guys when you guys are in a relationship no nah. why not Okay. And when you go out, you think you can do that? Yes. Why is that? Because you have an agreement, bro. That's your agreement you're going to have? Definitely. Okay. Yeah. I like that. I respect oh, you that. Oh, you sent her actually. a text? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's about like to something agreed upon before, right? Right. Not I respect that. Yeah, yeah. I think I that's think the best you, way to do it. Yeah, if, if you guys are both on the same page like with that. I feel like when you do it like twice, bro. Twice in one night? When you cheat twice? Yeah, when you cheat twice. Oh, okay. I think, but the question is more so referring to just the act of cheating, mm. not just cheating as a whole, but the yeah. act, you know what I mean? So when you're going to go cheat for the first time, it doesn't matter, oh. you know? It's like, when does it become a commitment? Like, the mistake is, I feel like, step one, you know, because you can't always control that. Yeah, how if you're getting yeah towards you. If you're getting a DM, if you're getting a nude sent to you, mm. like, <laughs> you know, sometimes you get impromptu nudes sent to you, right, you, right, you right. didn't ask for this, you know, so. <laughs> Unsolicited. You can report that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, report that. Yeah, report, report it. This is disgusting. I would never look at this. <laughs> huh? Uh, you have to report it to your your girlfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how you report Not it. The local authority. Not the local authority. <laughs> you say this girl is a harlot. I want nothing to do with her. <laughs> Delete this. Yo, that's hilarious oh, because those are all the questions yeah, you guys. No, Did I talk about it on this podcast where I got harassed that night? Um, did I talk about it? No, I didn't actually. I didn't I'm not gonna talk about it either. Yeah. I'm not, <laughs> I think I, th I told you we were talking. It was a group chat. Yeah, yeah, I told you guys. But not like the way my my girl pressed me after that. I'm like, nigga, I'm the victor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you're no, asking me about that, yeah. why did why didn't she leave? Right. Why, I mean, why didn't you leave? Mm. I'm like, wait, she I was, do with that step too. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's another thing. What if you're actually not doing anything and the girl is just all over you? You know what I mean? Yeah. But again, there's, I, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nah, it's definitely, it's definitely an harassment, yeah. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? As men, bro, that's ammo. Yeah. Because you be like, yo, this will happen to me. <laughs> like, yo, just know the price is up. You have to act right. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's a temperature check, you know? You gotta come hard. Exactly. <laughs> I gotta say. come. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is hilarious, man. <laughs> but, nah, do you think women do that, though? Do you think women kind of tell their men about situations as a temperature check? Mm. Like, being like, oh, just know, I could be gone. Listen. Out of here. <laughs> I wouldn't even have to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nah, for sure. It makes sense. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Um. Okay. <laughs> the other listener question is: What's worse, dating a sex addict, a drug addict, or a gambling addict? What's that? Gambling. Yeah. Hmm. So, gambling addict, drug addict, or sex addict? Gambling, I sex. Gambling. Really? Damn, man. What's worse? I gambling because it's the amount of money you lose. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Okay, she will get pregnant, or whatever the situation, or an STD. <laughs> now, nah. I feel like the sex addict would be very cautious, you know what I mean? They'd be on top of nah, their shit. I've dated a sex addict before. That's cap. <laughs> I swear, bro. That's cap. <laughs> that means you were putting Wait, she it went down to right, bro. She was a sex addict. She went to meetings, or? It was like, bro, she wanted to, like, skip school to come have sex, go out and stuff, bro, but getting in the way of, like, yeah. things, bro. Oh, nah. Oh, shit. Nah, like, you're yeah. younger? You were younger? Like, Oh, so you're like, no, yeah. No, oh, really? Yeah. That's yeah. bear tricky. Woo! Yeah. You never truly know. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, seriously. Yeah, that's true. No, that's. that's um, um, you think so? You think so? You th- yeah, you think so? How long did it? How long did the uh, the sessions last, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a big question. If it's like ten minutes, it's like the, the reason why she's looking at me. Yeah. But if it's like okay, a good 25, 29 minutes. Oh. You don't get details. You'll get your yeah. time on this table. And we're gonna get into details, brother. This year, <laughs> no, it's gonna happen. But uh, what's worse? Uh, it's tough, man. Because a drug yeah. addict, they can pass away. Right. And that's tough. You lose your partner. You know, like that. Of course. Um, gambling, gambling addict, addict you is can tough lose your too. House. You can lose your house. Yeah, you lose sure, yeah. Significant things. I, so, I feel like you would just lose random things to the house. Mm-hmm. Like we sold the kids. Where a chair at? Yeah, we sold the kids for <laughs> you know. It's like, Jesus. Why yeah. is there no cutlery anymore? <laughs> it's like they bring like a random kid. We can we can make this our kid. We could. Yeah, pull what the fuck this is up. this kid? I, I feel like the gambling will, will turn to a different direction is because it's one thing where the, where they're taking things from the house mm-hmm. or they're wasting their money. But yeah. Once they're into your pocket, right. You know? No, for sure. Yeah. Nah, and and that's the. I mean, like. Addiction is a disease, obviously. Yes, yeah, we tough. never know where it's gonna go. But and it's it's so sorry, it's so sad too that they, addiction because they do anything for their right. fix, right? So lie to you, steal from you, you know what I mean? Because they want to get their fix. Of course, so nah. it's it's just tough. Like it's definitely you see you're the person you used to know do things that you would never imagine them to right. do because of the sickness. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, no, nah. I I would probably say I'm gonna say drug. drug? I'm gonna say drug because yeah, I'm gonna say drug too. Yeah, because just seeing your partner in that yeah. state. It could be, you know, even like the deterioration. Yeah. If if, if it gets to that point, mm-hmm. that could be that could be even more tricky to to watch. But Facts. um, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I I would probably say drug. Yeah, I'm with but, you. But yo, gambling would cheese me. That's the thing. <laughs> gambling would yeah. Gambling would cheese yeah. me. Fam. Okay. I see that. Cause it doesn't even, it doesn't even have to be at the at the casino anymore. You know. On the computer, it's poker. The computer, bro. Just clear, clear the, 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 the mutual savings or, account. Or, or freaking, uh, she, 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 she donating, or she, 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 she investing in, in, in a random cryptocurrency that <laughs> Jake Paul's endorsing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's crazy. She blew the whole savings. All the savings. Oh, my God. <laughs> OJ, time. <laughs> OJ time. OJ <laughs> time. Anyway, so let's get into Gloves silly come shit. Off. <laughs> Gloves come out. That's funny. <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into silly shit. Normally, you know, we do a shot, but we're not going to do a shot today. Mm. Uh, huh? Why not? Because we're not going to drink today, mm. brother. All right, bro. I'm sober. I've been sober I'm for sober, 14 girlfriend. days. All right? Oh, I'm, respect. Respect. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not a fucking addict. Jesus Christ, guys. <laughs> Don't treat me like <laughs> that. <laughs> well, congratulations, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, but no, I just have one question. So yeah. this question actually arises because um, it was a clip that came out a little while ago okay. from uh, last year. It was an episode we had with, you know, Shalisa Marie, mm. those, the girls, Patrice and, uh, no, Patrice and, God, am I forgetting? Yes, Brittany. Shout out to Brittany. Yeah, shout out to her short film, too. That's fire. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, the question arises from there. Because in the comments, 
No, she said men get what they can, women get what they want. Mm-hmm. So yeah, somebody so somebody's comment was a rebuttal to that. He said, when unless it comes to marriage, yeah, because marriage is when men pick who they want to marry. Yeah, you know. I think yeah, I think from if we're talking like strictly about about like sex, mm-hmm. even then that might not apply because some girls can't pull, and that's okay. Yeah, but um. Yeah, no, I think um, in terms of like getting getting what you can get what it's. I'll be honest, bro. I I do not like blanket statements. Yeah. Every time you can find you can find some you can find bare exceptions. Now you know with respect to this, um, I, I think yeah, like from a from a marriage standpoint, mm-hmm. even then you can you still you're still getting what you can, what you can get. You think so? As a man or. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's it's like it's tricky, man. It's yeah. it's tricky. I think it's a bit of both. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you are choosing who you're going to propose to, right. but you're also from the selection. Exactly, <laughs> it's, it's from the selection that you have, which is what you can get. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So yeah. y- you have you have a power. You have a bit of power sure. in terms of who you select. But again, it's only the pool is who you can get. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's a bit, it's a bit of both. So both of them yeah. are true. But what were you going to say? You said you heard the opposite. I, I, I agree with you. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Mm, Got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Um, no, I think on that we're good to close. We're just under an hour as well. Say we're I feel okay. like time wise is perfect. Solid. Elite. Yeah, Anything yeah. we miss you think we should cover, Ed? Yo, look out for the short film coming out soon. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Look out for the short Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have you on the table. <laughs> no, we swear. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, I know. You know, go ahead, plug anything you want to plug. Plug your podcast, yeah, socials. Yeah, of course. Nah, please go and check out the Sign Over Coast podcast. For those of you who don't do math, that's a tangent because we're going on a tangent. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, now nah, I'm your host or your co host, Mac. <laughs> Listen, I'm a gracious guest. <laughs> nah, but I, I appreciate my time here. This was, this was such a good time. I, I think, um, obviously, love what you're doing. And Thank you. Um, you know, it's it's great work, and I, I think you're definitely putting out for the city. Thank you, bro. Yeah, of course. You know, it's nice to hear that. It's nice to hear that, you know? Yeah, now I want all guests to come on, bro. You yeah. come with a gift, you come with a Absolutely. compliment. Listen. You know what I mean? Kosure. Exactly. <laughs> Kosure. Kosure. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, man, it's been another episode of Return to My Podcast. Again, you know, be sure to follow us on the pages. Also, uh, mm. I do have an announcement, though. You know, on Spotify, they just introduced the fact that you can review the podcast. So, yes, if you're sir. listening on Spotify right now, I know most listen. of you listen on Apple Podcasts, but, Five you know, stars. just go over to, to Spotify and leave a review. Same for Apple Podcasts as well, but just leave a review. You know, just quick five stars or whatever you want to rate it. Uh, you know, just it just helps the podcast be promoted and sent and, you know, suggested to other people as well. So, if you guys can do that, I really appreciate it. But, like I said, you know, it's your host returning my podcast. Uh, yeah, you, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you decided to be here. And so I appreciate you for that. We out. We'll be here in two weeks again. Boom. Easy. <laughs>